that was quite a result so let me just flip you around and i'll show you what i've got and i'll show you the extra little bonus i uh, I, I found hello welcome back um if you are new to the channel um there's not many of you so um yes welcome if you are new uh my name's steve i'm a part-time reseller um full-time worker currently i'm trying to sort of work towards not having to have a full-time nine to five job um so i'm trying different things most of it is currently reselling um but i've also done a bit of lego investing um so i'm waiting to see how they do once i start selling them hopefully come quarter four i can start selling some of that um start making a bit of money from it um and a few sort of other little bits this being one of them hopefully i can at some point get monetized um yeah, it's a long way off yet so i just kind of like a, a long-term plan um we'll see how it goes um, but today's video i thought i would give you a quick tour of my work area there's not really much of an area but I, i'll sort of just show you i've got like a couple of shelving units and a few bits piled up and there's a bit of a bit of a mess at the minute it's a small small little room i, I work in um this isn't even all of it i've got bits piled around different rooms and places around the house so I, i'll show you the the main part of it um and then i'll go through i thought i'd just go through some of my most recent sales um, right, I've just sort of picked out 10 sales which are quite good and give you an idea of of how much you can kind of make from putting a bit of effort in and knowing what to look for. Um, and then at the end I've got a quick video of a pickup I had today. Um, so I'll show you what I picked up and there was a little surprise as well from it which was a very welcome surprise. I haven't looked into it fully yet but um, yes you wait to the end you'll see what I picked up and I was pretty pleased with it so let's get into it right so here is one of my shelves so all this is this is all listed stuff well, majority well everything on the shelves so there's some shoes in there and some books and there's a little box of mostly that's toys in there um but then there's like another little bag of toys down here these bits aren't listed it's an organized chaos at the minute um so yeah there's but this actually i haven't actually listed him yet i keep meaning to um but i haven't done busted but i just don't know what to price it at um anyone's got idea, any ideas i can't see any sold items uh little busted teddy so um yeah no idea um so this is all it's all very neatly piled well not neatly piled up but it's all piled up behind there's bits behind there um there's games and books and mugs uh, and then <laughs> then it gets really interesting uh, then you got a huge pile of stuff that goes up there <laughs> uh, and then all around up there there's a load of plush there's like, two boxes up there of random plush um and then i've got more over here so this is some um, so that's not listed they are so in my head it makes sense um yeah i sort of listed that's not actually listed yet but some bits are that's some um, bubble wrap envelopes up there a couple of boxes of those um and then i've got books dvds this is two two layers deep so behind that there's more i don't know what i've got behind there now what have we got uh, some videos and there's a perfume i think behind there and basically i just kind of fit stuff in wherever i can um you see it's all it's all neatly piled in i weirdly know where everything is um pretty much every so often i'll be, I'll be up one thing I'm like oh where's that um got some vinyl here um and then this shelf is mostly stuff i haven't listed um so there's like a box of bits there so it's mostly like random toys and Playmobil and other bits and then I've got this bits these aren't listed yet uh, some Harry Potter books um, so I'm waiting to make make up a full full set um, some bits of Lego and um, this little Marvel box is what I now put my shoes in so I've got some shoes in that but it doesn't hold that many so it's a bit annoying 
Um, another pair of shoes, a box of Lego. Uh, I picked this little unit up the other day. Um, so I've got a couple of drawers of clothes and then the bottom drawer is um, some mugs and breakables and stuff. Um, and then there's this, um, not been tested, that's not been tested, they're not listed. Um, and little piles of other bits that I haven't listed. I picked up some wallpaper as well when I'm to, I was going to use it to void fill, but I, I'm still tempted to sell it because it's kind of a bit unusual. Um, and then also, I've got stuff in the radiator, which is all piled up to... Um, I don't think any of this. These were all celebration ales. I had them listed on eBay um, for a good three months, I think it was. Not didn't hadn't sold them, and then all of a sudden the listing got pulled down because I couldn't sell alcohol. Which, yeah, I kind of understand that. But why is it taking so long to to do? Um, so now I've got them on Facebook Marketplace, but they haven't sold still. So yeah, great fun. Um, I might just get get rid of them, but. I don't know who to give them to. They're probably worth money. I had sold, I had seen some sold on eBay before. That's why I listed them. Um, but yeah, they must have just change their rules. Um, and bits, other DVDs and books and games and um, yeah, a bit of everything really. And a couple of little Barbies, or Barbie's sister and Barbie's sister's friend. I can't work out. I need to work out the name of them so I can get them listed. Um, yes, so as you can see, it's a bit of a mess. Oh, there's a pile over here, a couple of random bits. Darth Maul mask, which I picked up at a charity shop. I don't know, I picked up a car boot, but it's missing this bit here. So I don't know whether to try and sell it without. Um, but we see that's just an empty box. That's not actually um, cider, unfortunately. But yes, that is a very brief whistle stop tour of my space that's all i've got little space uh, there's a wardrobe here but that's got my, mostly packaging supplies in but um at some point it's going to be used as a wardrobe for other bits as well so yes there we go i'll just flip you around again there we go there's my there's my little office and uh, you can see i've got lego behind me as well I, um, that's my lego shelves um think I've got by any means so you stretch the imagination um but yeah I, I, won't, I won't show you my desk because my desk is an absolute tip uh let's look at the pile of books oh how tall I am but my games just go up and up and up and that's not even all of them um hang on shall I there's a bit of a little gap here I'll put a picture up of some of the games I've got um that's kind of saving it for a quarter four and fingers crossed everything sells we'll see right um i will now go through a list of uh, hopefully just quickly go through 10 sales um show you what sold recently okay so 10 quick sales i've left a little gap here so i'll put a little picture up show show you the um the actual sale um yes i'll tell you what i paid um and then i'll give you like a total at the end of everything so yeah number one uh so it was a sony camera lens this one you might have seen it in my recent haul video um i wasn't sure what it was going to be worth i just kind of picked it up because i saw it in a charity shop it was five pound i paid for it um and got 26 pound 79 um so yeah it's quite a good day i think they offered me 23 to start off i have listed for 30 they listed that they offered uh, they offered 22 79 i think it was don't know why there was that price. I went back with 27, they came back with 26.79, so 21p cheaper. Um, so yeah, I took it <laughs> for the sake of 21p, not really sure what they were thinking, but maybe they just wanted to keep it at that price, I don't know, I'm not sure really that, that with the postage made it 29.99, so no idea. Anyway, it's a good little sale, pretty pleased with that, and it was quite a quick turnaround as well. Uh, so next, Number two, uh, we have a Stanley combination plane. Um, so yes, here it is. Uh, this was a pickup recently from a uh, jumble sale I went to. Um, I picked up three planes, uh, two Stanley and one record. Um, 
all 50p each. This was easily the best seller. Well, the, the, it took longest to sell, but sold for 59.99 um, from 50p. Very pleased with that. Um, the other two, I think one sold for 15, one sold for 13. So even those from 50p is brilliant. Um, they need a lot of work doing to them, but you know, for some people that's quite the challenge. So, uh, right next is so some tdk recordable blank cds um this was actually one of the first pickups i had as a reseller so when i decided to do reselling i started looking on ebay just just have a idea get an idea of what was around and see if i could pick anything up i found a box of 13 um of these um so basically whole i think it was that no 12 sorry 12 brand new box of 12 um that a guy was selling actually lived really close to my dad so i got my dad to pick it up um and he had them listed for three pound like a um a bid a bidding i can't think of the word um yes yeah, so started at three pound but then when i read the description it said if you make me an offer of three pounds I'll accept it because I just want to get rid of them. But they're all brand new, sealed. Um, you get 10 in a box. So it's 120 disc. No, 100, whatever it was, 12 times. Yeah, 120. Um, for And he wanted £3 for them. So I was like, yeah, okay, great. So I picked, you know, I got my dad to pick them up. It's all good. Um, and I sold. So someone offered me. For 10 of them, um, someone offered me, I think it was £50, I think they offered £5 per pack, and I had them listed at £9 each, um, so I thought it was a bit cheeky, um, so I went back with uh, £7.50 each, and they accepted, so yeah, then I, it was £10 postage for all, all 10 of them. Um, yeah, happy days. So I've got one pack. I've already sold one pack. But one pack left. That's still up for eight ninety nine. Um. So yeah, hopefully I can get rid of that at some point. But at least it, it's freed up loads of space that was on top of my my wardrobe. Okay, number four. Uh, some Adidas Gazelles in grey. Uh, I'll put a picture here. Um, I th this was a bit different for me I bought them at car boot but I paid up a little bit I usually with trainers most I pay as a fiver um but I thought they looked quite good I quite like gazelles and I think gazelles sell quite well oh, I, I thought they did and they, they do so so it turns out um so I paid tenner for them and they sold for 28 pound um pretty quickly within a couple of weeks of listing them they, they'd sold so that's it's not yeah huge huge profit or huge turnaround but it's almost tripled my money so yeah, easy, easy money. Uh, these are one of my best sellers. Um, so number five, uh, there are some Mephisto uh, brown walking shoes. Never heard of them before. They was in my local charity shop. And the tag said five pound. I thought it said five pound, but then it could have been three pound. Um, but I got to the counter, they charged me three pound for them. Um, yeah, as you can see, three pound into 75 pound. I, li I listed them at 75 to see what happens, uh, see what happened. I think some had sold for a bit more, but I thought 75 seems quite good. Um, so yeah, and they sold within probably three weeks, two, three weeks maybe. Um, yeah, really pleased with that, great sale. Um, staying on the trainers theme, some ASICS black trainers. Um, I picked these up on Sunday, uh, listed them a few days later and they sold within a few days after that. So. Um, Paid a fiver for them. They would look pretty much brand new. Sold them for twenty nine pounds. Uh, so yeah, much better turnaround. But yeah, it's really great. I love selling trainers and shoes now because they just so easy to package, um, and you know don't that take up too much room and get them pretty cheap. Perfect. Uh, right, uh, next number seven. <laughs> uh, not County football shirt. This was in a local charity shop. I, I went for a bit of a charity shop 
walk after work one day um didn't have didn't really get much i literally found i think it's probably the only thing i found um paid five pound for it and i'd had a look there was one one listed i think which was similar and that was listed for 60 um so yeah so i thought i i think i listed at 55 56 something like that um someone made an offer of 30 um which i was still tempted to make uh, to accept because that was quite still quite a good profit um but i went back with 50 i think i just sort of, sort of test the water they came out at 45 and i went yeah i'll take that so four, uh, five pound and 50, uh, 45 easy for me to say um yeah great great profit more money i can re reinvest in everything else uh so right number eight i don't know i think it's uh, how is that eight <laughs> Um, it's a Soland, Soland sewing machine. Uh, it's this one here. This actually cost me nothing. This used this belonged to my grandma. Um, she died last year, and I picked up. Yeah, you know, there was so much stuff. It's part of the reason I kind of got into reselling. So, um, because I had so much stuff that that was there to resell, and I just thought this is a perfect time really since I've got so much stuff and I can just try out new things um, and this was one of them I had it listed really high to start off with I think I listed it at 40 um, but there was no competition but then there was no interest either so <laughs> maybe that was why um, so I, I think I came down eventually to 20 I think I listed at 27 28 um, but then someone made me an offer of 20 and it's just been sitting there for a good few months so I thought I'd get rid of it make some space, get some money back, go again. So yeah, that's what I did. So that's number eight. And uh, number nine, this is a bit of a cheeky one because it's a three, it's three listings, but I find, I thought I'd put them all together. Uh, so it's a first bit is a Barbie kitchen um, and accessories. So the actual kitchen I got um, with the other two bits. So I, for the, this um i paid 50p um i paid 50p separately for the accessories um there's some kitchen bits just sort of a bit of a mishmash of, of loads of different bits but i just thought i'd put them all together um so effectively I paid pound for all of this i sold it for 29.99 very pleased with that um a and then the other part of that was a barbie bedroom office Again, paid 50p, um, and that's of 17.99. And then there was a Barbie wardrobe with a few other little bits with it as well. 50p, that went for 10.99. So all in all, paid two pound for all the Barbie bits. Um, and I haven't worked out exactly, but it's about 50 quid, 55 quid, something like that. Um, if you can do the math, you can, you're more than welcome to. Sorry, it's a bit dark, isn't it? I've just realised. Um, yeah. So, yes, very pleased with that. Um, and then I've left this one till last because I was I was really pleased with it and I added it to my list of things to mention. Um, so it was number 10. Uh, it was, number, it was some QX ice skates. Um, so I... The, it was the hottest day of the year. I sold a pair of ice skates. You might have seen on my Instagram. Um, if you're not following me on Instagram, please check me out. Um, yeah, so I sold these for. I think I paid paid five pound at a car boot. Sold them for um, seventeen ninety nine. So yes, it wasn't not the best of turnaround. Yeah, not the best of return on investment, I guess, but compared to some, but. I, when I first got them, I thought they'd be really you know, worth lots of money. Um, turned out they wasn't worth that much, but I was still pleased I got seventeen ninety nine for them. Um, and then about half hour before I was about to record this video, I got a return request for them. Um, so they're coming back um, just because they didn't like them, apparently, for whatever reason. Um, doesn't really say, it just says that her granddaughter didn't like them. Which is fair enough, it happens. Um, but yeah, so a bit gutted, but um, yeah, hopefully I can sell them again and they might sell nearer Christmas anyway when people can actually ice skate. <laughs> uh, yes, so 
all in all, um, so it was, I paid for everything here, uh, I paid £38.50 um, and I got a return of £435.73p. Um, that's including new escades though, so that's going to be refunded. Um, so in theory, I've got £417.74p. Um, but hopefully I can sell them. So the ice skates again, they're coming back to me. I haven't got to pay postage or anything. So, um, yes. So 400 plus, yeah, £38.50 into over £400 in my book is a good day at the office. Um, God, I sound like um, Dave Keith. It's a good day at the office. It's his new, new tagline. Uh, yes. So there we go. It's a quick rundown of sales. And now I will just quickly skip over to uh, me in the past, um, a quick video of a pickup I did um, with an added bonus, um, which I, I, I found, but I'll, uh, I'll let me explain that now. <laughs> Enjoy. Hello. Uh, just thought I'd give you a quick, I've just had a, quite a result actually. Um, I but I saw some vinyl for sale on Marketplace. Usually Marketplace I think it's already gone, but it'd been on there half an hour. So um, I thought I would um, message them to find out if it's still available. It is, uh, it was. Um, so yes, that was quite a result. So let me just flip you around and I'll show you what I've got. And I'll show you the extra little bonus I, uh, I, I found. So it's not the uh, best of views because I've got it right on my lap, but um, so I don't really know if any of this is any good. Um, if you have no idea, let me know. There is literally uh, that one, I think might be the best mode one. Uh, it's probably well, basically, I put all these vinyl paid a tenner for them for the whole lot, so um, so I think my money is pretty safe. I had to look up a few of them, but I couldn't see much about them so um I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear this because I'm oh, cold <laughs> yeah, right, so, I don't know if you can see it very well it's not the best of light um uh, uh, but this welcome to the pleasure dome this is the one I saw Frankie goes to Hollywood I think um that's been selling for at least a tenner on eBay I could see so um yeah I think I'm only safe just in that and then all the rest is is a bonus hopefully uh, but we'll see I don't know but um but then as I was walking up to the, the place to get it so yeah outside the flats I, w I went to to collect vinyl um there was just a box of games that had been left there games and cds um i don't think there's anything that special but they were just sitting right next to the bin in the box even just for the box it's awesome uh, i'll flip it around again and show you so yeah here is a big box of free games and cds so they're pretty much all ps2 um i don't think there's anything so that special uh Voyager, then those CDs as well. I probably can make some bundles up of stuff, and it's all free. <laughs> Definitely can't say no to that. There's some charger in there as well. I think that must be a phone charger, but I'll, I'll check that out as well. See if that's worth anything. So, <laughs> yes, what a result! I was going to go to a charity shop um, on the way back, but I don't think I need to now because I've got tons of stuff to be getting on with. What's this? Play Collins 36 Crazy Fists. No idea. That's this one. Oasis, nice. So, um, the Darkness. What's 
that one, David Gilmore. Oh dear. That doesn't look like a real one. Black. Snow Patrol. Thumbs at the bottom as well. So yeah, white result. So yes, that was my pickup. Um, so big load of vinyl. Still need to go through it to see what prices are, but hopefully, you know, good, good, some good money in there. Um, and the games. So we so say if, if I, if need to, I can just bundle them up and either sell them as a big bundle together or just sell them if I get a PlayStation Two bundle all in with that. Uh, yes. So it's, Pretty, uh, doing pretty well. It's been a, been a good week on eBay. I've um, been pleased with it. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, I will... Um, I, I, I'll go. <laughs> That's me done. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for um, subscribing. If you do subscribe, if not, please consider it. Um, be very helpful to me. Um, help support the channel. Um, say I'm trying to just build as much as I can and we'll, we'll see, see where it goes. Um, Yes, and hit like, all that kind of stuff. If you can leave a comment below, that really helps. Just any kind of comment, even just just a, a thumbs up or something. It's sort of, yeah, I don't really understand it, but it helps the algorithm um, and helps more people find it, which then more people subscribe and blah, blah, blah. All that kind of stuff. So, yeah, uh, like, subscribe, comment. Not necessarily in that order. Thank you very much. Until next time. Not sure why I selected it.